some things in my life I don't want you messing with. I've carried this old pocket knife about 25 years. I've had it in my pocket. Just a small one, out, but I've carried it. In case I need to cut a watermelon. <laughs> I get up every morning, hit a couple of licks, make sure it's shaved. Now the way, in case I want to cut my fingernails, ready. I told my children years ago, I said, don't touch it. One boy said, is it sharp? I said, leave it alone. He said, is it sharp? He cut his fingers to the bone. I said, oh, oh, oh that ain't that cute. Do it again. <laughs> he never fooled that knife again. I got a pistol hangs on my bedpost. He said, why you put it on your bedpost? Well, I can reach it real quick. Yeah. Oh, nobody, nobody messing with that pistol. You said, you had eight children? Yeah, is that pistol loaded? All the time. I never had any use for an empty one. <laughs> loaded. All, I don't want nobody... And them children knew it was suicide to mess with it. Never had a child to pick it up. I've got a little old, a small derringer I carry in my pocket. It's a 45. <laughs> that big. No <laughs> one fool. It's cute, man. It's the cutest little thing I ever seen. <laughs> nobody, nobody. And my wife, I don't want nobody to mess with my wife. Just leave her alone. Leave her out of this fire. Yes. I was going to Howard Park Baptist Church and a deacon over, I said something ugly to my wife, and he's going down Bailey Avenue, and I had a meat cleaver. I'd been saved about six months, and he called me in the office and said, uh, you ain't supposed to run the deacon with a meat cleaver. I said, something ain't supposed to be talking ugly to my wife. He's my wife. You leave my wife alone. Amen. Amen. Amen.